Hey you all, muscle head to fellow dressmakers. You're welcome to my channel. My name is Confidence. Thank you to my returning subscribers and thank you so much for stopping by if this is your first time. Kindly join the family by hitting the subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so as to be notified each time I upload a new video. So in this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to make this beautiful off-shoulder long gown with front slit and a double circle sleeves so if that sounds like what you're interested in learning kindly keep watching to and watch to the end to get all the facts don't forget to like comment and share this video so as to get to your friends and let's get into it so the first thing you see me do is marking a starting point and after that i'll keep my measuring tape like this and measure my hip line and then my knee length that is my from my waist to the knee 21 inches and then i will be using the whole of this ankara for the full length because the person is quite tall so after that i'll measure my waist measurement divided by four plus one and a half inches allowance and then i will measure my hip to hip divided by four plus one and a half inches allowance and then whatever i have on the hip i'll minus two inches from that whatever value i have on the hip I'll minus two inches from that and then use that as my knee circumference. My hip line, my hip measurement is 40 inches divided by four. That would give us 10 inches plus one and a half inches allowance would give us 11 and a half. So I would minus two inches from that to get my knee circumference. I would, that would give us um, nine and a half inches. So I have nine and a half on my knee circumference. And then I will use that nine and a half inches down to the hemline, down to the full length of this skirt. After marking, I will now connect with my ruler. And so we can cut. I'll be cutting just on the part that I marked. And after cutting, I will now fold my fabric again to cut the back piece. So after folding, I'll take my chalk and ruler and measure out one and a half inches. That would be for our zipper allowance. After marking, I'll just rule a straight line down to the hem of this dress. So I have one and a half inches. I'll be showing you what to do with it next. So now I'll take the front piece and then keep it exactly on that one and a half inches I marked. Just as you can see me do just on that line you see there's a space for our zip zip so now after doing it the right way i'll now take my measuring tape and measure my hip line again now that i have my hip line i will now be leaving the hole of one and a half inches that we measure out for our zipper allowance and then i'll go back to the waistline just as you can see me do i measure one inch so the one and a half on the hip will that would give the butt some space so no matter how tight your skirt is the butt will still have some free um, space so that's the work of the one and a half and now i'll connect it half inch down to the hem of the dress just as you can see the knee line of this back piece is half inch unlike the this as uh, unlike the waist that is one inch the hip one and a half and then the knee half inch so this is what i have and i have my front and then the back piece i'll go ahead and cut the line in for the two for the two both front and back and the line is shorter by two inches so now let's work on the slit i'll take this the front piece and then what to a uh, guy do for the wideness of the slit will be your bust span. Yes, your bust span. So I'm working with a bust span of 8 inches. I'll be dividing that 8 inches by 2. That would give us 4 inches. So I'll be marking that 4 inches. And then I'll from the waistline determine how long I would want the slit to be. And I want it to be exactly on the knee. So I mark that. So because I want this slit to be on the left side, I would be turning it, turning the fabric over to do this to be on the left side. 
so this is me measuring again the length of the slit and then i'll measure four inches down i'll measure four inches and then connect the dots together now i'll take my scissors and cut please do not cut the two pieces take one of the pieces or you can just spread your uh, your fabric so as to guide you not to make mistake so after that i'll now take my lining the front piece lining and then keep it on the right side just like you can see me do notice that i did not call the lining yet like i didn't open the slit yet i'll be doing that after stitching after stitching on the machine i'll now take it to my sewing machine and show you how to stitch it so now i'll start from the hemline just see what i'm doing I'll start stitching from the hemline and when I get to the slit I'll make sure that the two pieces are equal on the hemline just as you can see and I didn't give any space whatsoever just watch closely and then I'll stitch it to the to the end of it so now after stitching I'll now make sure that the lining and the main fabric that the two is equal on the waistline just as you can see this is the waistline i'm securing with a pin making sure that the lining and the uh, main fabric are on the same mood so now you see why we did that because the lining is shorter with two inches so i would now sew the slit see see how i'm arranging it make sure that as you sew you arrange your lining and the fabric so that you won't have any issues after joining so i'll now sew the slit i'll start from the end to the top and then again down to the hem arrange your fabric and the lining as you sew so that the two will be on the same mood just as you can see me do so before i get to the end of this slit i will give it just a small v just small so that it won't be too wide after stitching it so now i'll stitch it down to the other end of the slit making sure that the lining and the fabric are just on the same mode with me i'll sew like this to the end of the slit and then I can take my scissors now I can take my scissors and cut through the slit you see now we'll be cutting the line and I'll be cutting the excess of the line on the process I'll take it to my ironing table and iron it smoothly to have something like this see how beautiful this thing is so i've gone ahead to do the final measurement of this kit i use my measurement to close the sides go ahead to do whatever finishing you feel like but for me i did an inseam finishing i just left left a space for my zipper on the upper part of the skirt and i closed the down part because there won't be slits at the back of this uh, skirt we already have slits on the front so feel free to do whatever finishing you feel like but baby girl have to save some thread that's why i did an inseam finishing it's actually my favorite finishing because it saves my time and the energy of going to overlock afterwards so now let's keep that aside on work and work on the sleeves i will not take my fabric i'll be using this fabric for the sleeves so the first thing i'll do is to fold it you will be needing um, a half circle for your sleeves you can do a full circle anyway but it won't give you exactly what is on the thumbnail half circle would give you that so you see how i fold it to have a half circle 180 degree um circle as some people know it so now i'll be taking note of the my round arm measurement i don't know what it's called Help me in the comment section. The round arm measurement. I'll be adding extra stitching allowance to that. So I'll be taking note of that and then also the length of the sleeves. So first 
I will mark out 3 inches for the radius making sure that I have exactly that round arm measurement plus some extra allowance which you will be seeing later so after that I will take my measuring tape and measure out uh, the full length of the sleeves 8 inches you know the sleeves is double so this one I'm cutting now is the longer one. I'll be using this one to trace out the shorter one later on. So after cutting, I have something like this. I will now take my measuring tape. You see what I told you? You need a half circle, not a full circle, 180 degree. So I will now fold it back again. Take my measuring tape and measure out my round arm measurement, which is 8 inches plus half inch stitching allowance i'll mark it like so and then i'll be doing a small curve for the armhole that part will be where at where i'll be joining on the armhole you can measure your armhole to know the length of it so as to know how to cut so after cutting like you see me do i'll now take it to trace out the other one and then another two that will be shorter than this one i'll show you the next thing to do so i'm gonna have to cut that out and also the lining you see what we have we have the longer one and then the shorter one so as you can see one is longer by one inch so i'm gonna have to cut the lining too so i'll take one piece of it and then take the lining for that take it to my sewing machine and then sew it round iron it thoroughly to have something like this so this is it i'm gonna have to do the two and this is what we have so i'll now take it like this this is the part that will be our round arm the other part arm hole so now I'm not take the um the two one of uh, the two pieces like so. This one is the longer one. Then I'll take the shorter one like this. Let me mark the lining part so that you will know what we are doing. I'll not take the right side of the shorter one. Just watch closely. This is the right side of the bigger one. I'll not take the right side of the shorter one make it to face the wrong side of the bigger one just watch closely it's as simple as that make sure the right side of the um shorter one is facing the wrong side of the bigger one and go to your sewing machine and stitch it like that just the part that will be around the arm area do not stitch the armhole part and then this is what we have you see yes i did a top stitch on the part that that won't be visible and this is me admiring the beautiful nonsense nonsense that my machine stitched for me the stitch was really bad and i didn't notice so now i'll take the sleeves like this and run a stitch on this part that's my hand that you see my hand moving on the part that will be on the armhole and keep that aside so this is our upper part it's an um, off shoulder princess bustier the video is out on the channel do it uh, to check it out see how curved it is and neat so just like i did on the down part of this the skirt part of this dress in seam finishing also did for the upper part so now i'll take it to my sewing machine and join the two together the upper part and the down part do where to check the video it's out already on the channel how to cut and join this princess bustier so after joining it this is what we have you see how beautiful this is i've gone ahead to iron the dress and it's already given what is supposed to be given and i've also installed the zipper neatly just as you can see let me know in the comment section if you would love me to do a video on this inseam finishing. 
so now i'll take um the i'll take the sleeve and close this part that you see me demonstrate like this to have something like so yes you see the only part that we have um, open now is the armhole area the part that will be joining on the armhole so now i'll take my measuring tape and measure out around my arm measurement four inches as i mentioned earlier and then i and then i will mark it so now i'll have it in mind that the other a uh, part left will be going to the armhole and i'll take the dress and then on the center of the armhole that is the space between the front and then the back armhole i'll take it and then take the sleeves to making sure that the two uh, joining parts are meeting each other i'll now take it to my sewing machine and then that part that i marked is where i'll be stitching on that would be the allowance the joining allowance so now i'll take it to my sewing machine join it neatly run a stitch round stitch it and um, stitch it round the armhole making sure that the two joining are aligning and voila this is what we have and jumoka is doing what she knows how to do best so as you can see the the dress is exactly what you ordered so this will be the end of our tutorial do let me know your thoughts on the comment section and i'll see you in my next video be good bye